from the south side of Chicago. They call me low end or south side. I always had a wonderful mother, a wonderful father, had good upbringing. I just grew up in the seduction of the American way. If you look at the lifestyle with it, everyone glorifies Scarface, the Godfather, rap music, rock music. It just talks about doing and using drugs, selling them, you know, fast women, fast money. Growing up, I was discriminated for being Mexican. You know, I didn't speak English when I got there. And teachers used to yell at me, black or white, or even sometimes Mexicans. You know, uh, cops always harassing, but Irish or Italians, or sometimes blacks, when they all were discriminated at one point in time because they were immigrants by the Protestants. Um, I, had a, I worked hard. I always worked really hard construction. Yeah, doing carpentry, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. If I could build and frame houses all my life, I could do it. But, you know, just being the man of the hour, the super fly, as Curtis Mayfield would say, you know, when people see that I'm coming and I got good quality, you know, drugs, they love it, and, and I'm not doing them no harm. And while I had some problems with the law and I went to prison for a couple of years, I did five years and some change, as we say in uh, in Chicago, and some change. I did five years for being an idiot, being around the wrong people. Ended up turning me in. Thought they was friends. And life, that's the story of my life. And uh, I had a lot of time to get my mind right. But when I got deported, I saw it was a different world down here. I never imagined. I never been in Mexico for 20 some odd years. And I met uh, this guy named Israel that put me up on, on school, uh, computer programming. And it, it's beautiful. I love it. I read about it in the joint. You know, it's a good lifestyle. And uh, thank you, thanks to Mrs. Marcella Torres that started uh, Ola Co. too. And she's giving everybody an opportunity, you know, that also comes with a background like mine. Did some time or just regular people that were honestly deported. Good, hardworking people. And uh, I want to thanks a lot to Nuevo Comienzos for showing me that Mexico is more than just the neighborhood you grow in. And I just hope for the future that I could become a computer programmer and just travel the world. You know, my name comes up on the news. You can Google my name and it burns me up, but it is what it is. I, I brought it on myself for being a wrong, as we like to say, fuck boys in Chicago.